few days ago I posted a video of this uh, Benchy. This is an oversized large Benchy. Uh, been printed to, to float. Uh, I'm also added the uh, uh, pop pop or putt putt motor. This is the little boiler here. You put a candle under here. It heats the little boiler. Steam then comes out the uh, ports right here and it pushes it forward. Uh, the video shows clearly uh, how that works. Um, but now, um, putting my printer back into service, I mean, it's uh, basically, uh, my printers print all the time. I'm, it's kind of amazing. I don't have to do anything to the printer to actually print something uh, because it's set up pretty much stock. Um, that way, troubleshooting of anything that happens is simple. Um, basically, once it's set up to print properly, uh, it will continue to do so. Uh, so what I did with an earlier version of the Benchy, this was one that I did prior to this one. Uh, it's basically the same shape as you can see. It has the cabin, it has the, the raised, uh, uh, I guess the bow and then the stern. Um, you can see in here the weights that I've added. These are uh, three uh, nuts put in there. I also added some ballast here on the bottom. This is a weighted piece there on the bottom. It's kind of hard to see, but it's also weighted to lower it into the water properly. So the water line falls about right here. And to balance it, uh, that's what these uh, nuts are, is to balance it uh, so that it, it is you know, straight, horizontal um, uh, in the water. Uh, then you can see here the boiler as well. But the point is, is that the printers that I have, the four Ender 3s, are all basically identical. Uh, they're, they're, they have not been modified in any way. There's no added so-called upgrades uh, that people tend to add because they think they're going to make the printer work better. Uh, it doesn't. Uh, it can already print. That's the whole purpose of buying the Ender, is it already prints. Uh, you just, you know, maintain it. Uh, don't do anything out of the ordinary that wasn't. Uh, supplied by the factory in the box. Uh, you can see here this is the printer. Uh, currently what I'm going to print now uh, and again because the printer set up right I don't have to worry about whether it's going to work or not or whether it's going to print. It always has and always will uh, as you have seen in my videos. So the part I'm going to print now is a box that's going to go over the nuts here and then the candle if I can find it here is actually going to sit on the little box. So it's like this one here has a box. You can see it there in the middle. And then this is the holder for the candle itself. So I'm going to be doing the same thing here. So the nice thing about having a printer that prints, you know, because again, I don't do anything uh, to modify the printer to print because it already can. It already does out of the box. I don't want to ruin that. Okay. Uh, I'm not trying to reinvent the wheel. Uh, I'm just trying to print stuff. So this is my next print is to finish up on uh, this version of the uh, floating pop pop putt putt bender or uh, <laughs> I don't know, I'm getting confused. This is the Benchy, of course, and uh, we'll uh, post videos afterwards uh, of it actually functioning. I'm hoping. All right. Happy printing.